Hello and welcome to episode 3 of the campaign map modding tutorials for Dawnless Days. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a short episode showing you the new Kami tool and how we can take the mountains that we've created in episodes 1 and 2 and applying them to the campaign map AI logic. Now the reason this is going to be a short episode is because the Kami tool is still in development and while it's working there are changes being made before public release so the version that you get will probably be slightly different to this one. So we will release videos later on explaining in more detail how to use the Kami tool but just now I'm going to show you roughly what you'd need to do to make your mountains applied to the AI logic in the campaign map. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing we need to do is to open the Kami tool. Okay, now that that's open, let's go to settings and let's change it so that we are playing with Attila here. Save our preferences. The next thing we're going to do is open up the hex map in our assembly kit. That won't be there in your assembly kit at the moment, this will come with the Kami tool. There it is. Okay, and there we go. There's the hex map. Let's go down to Scotland here. Okay, so as I said, this is going to be quite a short tutorial because this tool will probably change before you get your hands on it. So rather than walk you through exactly how to use this, I'm just going to show you roughly what we'd need to do to make our mountains applicable to the AI in Attila Total War. So on the right here, we can see lots of different things that we can edit. At the moment, all we're going to focus on is the impassable areas, so let's make them visible. Okay, so you might be wondering, how do I make sure that the impassable areas actually line up with the tile map that I've already made? And luckily, there's a handy little tool in Kami. Over here, you just go up to this little back image tool. We'll go into our terrain file, campaigns, main Attila map, and let's load in our tile map. And there you go, you can see your tile map. Let's just decrease the opacity of that. There we go, and now we can see our hex map underneath and the tile map on top. So we've got impassable areas selected, we've got impassable here selected, we just need to get our brush out and paint in an impassable area where our mountains are. There we go, that'll do. Okay, we don't need the background image anymore, so let's get rid of that. And there we go, we've got our new impassable areas. So next up, let's just save our map. And let's export the data. So tools, export, and let's get the pathfinding data done first. Now this might take a wee while, so sit back and relax. Okay, now that we've got pathfinding exported, let's go to tools and let's just process the map data as well. And that's that done. Now the Kami tool will export the files we need into our working data. So all we need to do is add it to our pack file. So I'm gonna open pack file manager, go to game selected, select Attila. I'm gonna open from data, Scotland 2, that's the one I'm looking for. So now what we need to do is click on our Scotland 2 pack and go create, create folder. I'm gonna name this campaign maps. new folder. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, add folder, and in our assembly kit, we're gonna go to working data, campaign maps, and we're gonna add the main Attila map. There we go. So let's save the pack file. And let's go and launch Attila. And there you have it. The mountains are now impassable to the game and the AI won't be able to walk through them. So that's all we're going to run through today. Next thing I think what we're going to do is add a custom mountain here to the left because there's nothing really in game at the moment that I like the look of to fit here. So we're going to design our own mountain and then get it into game. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I'll see you next time.